Alright guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in the shithole town of Austin, Texas here on this beautiful Tuesday morning, November 27th, somewhere around there, 2018, so the little dog, uh, so this is the reason why Santa suits don't make this, this is what a, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, if, if Sancho wants to walk around backwards, this is Sancho's new ass backwards, bass backwards, back asswards, Santa suit. And it does not have the, the little thing under his chin. He just has a hoodie. This is his Santa hoodie. Anyway, so I hope this, uh, this new Santa suit relieves some of your anxiety about the little dog being tortured. And uh, so anywho, now that I'm done torturing my dog, I want to do what I do every day, and that's pick out the We Are So Fucked headline of the day. Uh, good Lord, guys. It, it, I'm trying to figure out which dead animal story to pick out. We, we've got those 200 frozen sea turtles up there uh, in New England. I didn't have any idea that sea turtles went as far as New England and that's part of the problem is that they're swimming farther and farther north as the ocean gets warmer and warmer but then when we have these weird perturbations in the jet stream they get trapped up there and we're now having frozen sea turtles washing up in New England on Thanksgiving weekend. Anyone telling me we're not living in the in the twilight zone? What was it down in New Zealand? 145 of those pilot whales washing up on the beach. Uh, we had that sperm whale last week washing up with, good God, how many pieces of that dead whale, how many pieces of plastic in his belly, all of these, these North Atlantic right whales washing up dead on the beach with goddamn crab lines washed around them. But uh, this story is we have to wait wait for the ending of this story and I just uh, I don't know is this a humorous headline I guess for an eco-nazi it is clues sought for decline in Hawaiian Hawaiian pumpback whale sightings huh I wonder why the humpback whales are uh, disappearing in Hawaii, and I'm not the only one wondering. Researchers are gathering to compare clues on the reasons behind a significant decline in the number of sightings of North Pacific humpback whales in their traditional breeding grounds and waters around Hawaii. The trend does not the trend does not necessarily mean the iconic giants are dying off. Or that they're not still migrating to the islands. Huh. But the apparent disappearance of many whales from a historically predictable location is causing concern and some researchers believe there is a link between warmer ocean temperatures in Alaska and the effect that has on the whale's food chain. No shit, Sherlock. While scientists say 
It is still too early to draw any conclusions about the new phenomenon. The decline has sparked enough inter interest that a consortium of whale experts will meet Tuesday, meaning today, and tomorrow in Honolulu to compare data and attempt to better understand what is happening and what to do about it. Hmm. The drop in humpback whale sightings is estimated at 50% to 80% over the past four years. 50 to 80 percent, and they, you know, this, uh, now understand guys, this is not a drop in whales, it is a drop in the sighting of whales has dropped 50 to 80 percent. Uh, so what is going on with these whales? The humpbacks traditionally migrate each autumn from Alaska, where they feed during the summer months, to Hawaii, where they mate and give birth during the winter. Based on the latest large-scale population study, it is estimated that around 11,000 whales make the 6,000-mile journey annually. Wow. Most humpbacks were taken off the endangered species list two years ago. So in the middle of this precipitous decline in sightings, they took the whale off the endangered species list in 2016, and that was under Obama, not under Trump. Uh, officials with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration hope this week's meeting will help them form a consensus about what to do going forward to help ensure these species continued success. Uh, this is uh, Mark Lammers from the Hawaiian Islands Humpback Whale National Marine Sanctuary. Quote, people started to report fewer sightings and there was concern about what might be going on. We have noticed that there's been basically a decrease in the overall acoustic energy level that we're picking up produced by humpback whale songs, close quote, which, which is a whole nother associated story that the humpback whales don't seem to be singing as much as they used to be, uh, which is a, a, another mystery. Uh, but there are many variables that are not yet fully understood. The whales could have reached their environment's capacity. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Okay. The whales could have reached the environment's capacity. That sure sounds like, you know, sounds to me, that, that sounds like a damn good reason why we're seeing less whales than uh, a, a drop of 50 to 80 percent of whale sightings could be explained by they've reached their capacity. There you go. I love these. I love these scientists. Uh, or the whales could be simply going to different areas that aren't as closely monitored, such as the uninhabited northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Well, I don't blame them for that. Uh, all right, many theories are being considered about what's happening to the whales, including the possibility that warmer ocean temperatures are reducing food supplies in the north. No shit, Sherlock. <clears throat> if, the, if the female whales are not getting enough food, they would be unable to ovulate and reproduce. Um, 
So the data from one of these whale hugger uh, outfits gathered focuses on mother and calf pairs and shows a drop of nearly 80% in sightings of mothers with babies from 2014 to 2018. That is consistent with what others have found. Um, this is uh, whale researcher Laura Cartwright. Quote, there is a substantial decline in the number of whales we are seeing, but when we look very closely, at least in the waters off Maui, which is where most of the whales congregate, that decline is very much accounted for by the drop in the number of mother and calf pairs. Uh, Cartwright said she doesn't believe the whales are in danger of becoming massively depleted. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. But thinks it is important to understand <coughs> the connection between environmental and climate change in Alaska and the whales' behavior. Um, there you go. And closing out with uh, whale hugger Stephanie Stack. Wow, a steady downward trend is not a good sign. No shit, Sherlock. Anyway, signs of the end times, but uh, right next to that story, right next to the quote, a steadily downward trend is not a good sign. We have the, uh, if you liked this story, you know they recommend you to other stories. So if you liked the crash and humpback whale sighting story, you might also like the story, large asteroid packing 50 megatons of force might come crashing down on Earth in 2023, and that's not all. <laughs> yes, 2023, as if we're not going to have an asteroid already here. Okay, and if you like uh, dead whales and asteroids, how about what is in the original Little Debbie snack. We have Victoria's secret, Victoria's secret model, Josephine Sturver, is engaged. How about Meghan Markle is said to be causing a rift in the royal family. Do not forget how to fatten your how to fatten your bloated belly. <laughs> yeah, really. How to flatten your bloated belly. There you go. Twins who reportedly spent $250,000 on plastic surgery said bullying led them to seek more natural look. There you go, all sorts of stories. Uh, and then, of course, uh, all right, we've got a uh, we've got Melania Trump with her blood red Christmas trees. Uh, there you go. Uh, Mel I wonder where Melania. It looks like Melania has about a dozen blood red Christmas trees in the White House. Melania Trump slammed for showing off historic, historically ludicrous Christmas decor while children are tear gassed at the border. What a great way to start the holiday 
Melania says, talking about her blood red Christmas trees. And then, of course, the most support, the, the most important story of all, which probably is the one I should have read. 22 survival myths that most people still rely on. Yeah, like uh, the grocery store, the gas station, uh, public tap water, the ATM machine. Uh, the check is in the mail and I will not come in your mouth. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> Perhaps tomorrow we will revisit 22 survival myths that people still rely on. But right now, I'm going to change shirts here and flip over to Collapsed Chronicles. And we're going to find out about the dangers of polystyrene otherwise known as styrofoam coming up in one minute about how styrofoam is taking down a planet no shit sherlock get out there and get your blood red christmas trees while you still can bye guys